Let's uh, get to uh, some netball and talk to Yvonne Willering uh, because it seems uh, Netball New Zealand uh, may lose the services of Dame Nolene Torua following this year's World Cup, uh, which takes place in South Africa in a few months' time. Nolene has made it plain that she, well, she wants a change by the sound of it. To me, it sounds as if she's just in need of a break. She's been coaching at the top, not just with the uh, Silver Ferns, but prior to that, a a team in Australia and the Australian entity, a new franchise that she took to the championship and won it, I think, a couple of years. So, yes, she's probably in need of a bit of a break. She wants to stay, by the sound of it, involved in netball, but isn't convinced yet that she wants another stint as coach of the national side. Well, anyway, former Silver Fern and former Silver Fern coach Yvonne Wittering wants the national body, by the sound of it, to do everything it can to keep uh, Dame Nolan in New Zealand, uh, even if it means being involved at a lower level in terms, I suppose, of developing talent and bringing talent on to play uh, at the international level with the Silver Ferns with me now is Yvonne Willering. Um, And Yvonne, it sounds like um, you clearly are a big fan of uh, Dame Nolene Toru and her coaching methods and her coaching styles. And uh, listening to this plea that you're making Netball New Zealand um, to hang on to Nolene at all costs, uh, you're almost sounding like you think she's irreplaceable. Yeah, oh, you've actually said it all, Brendan, so what the heck? <laughs> um, yeah, it is interesting that, uh, obviously, it, you know, we need news and netball news and uh, to discuss this at this stage prior to World Champs. And that's why I think that, that Dame Nolene has just basically just left it to, parked it to the side, and really her total focus is on the World Championship. And I believe that to be true. She will make a decision after that. Appreciate her contract doesn't finish until the end of November. Mm. So even if she decides not to carry on you know there is plenty of time uh, still to to bring someone else in and it, and it's very unlikely that's just going to be an outsider um doing that and i uh, i mean i believe that really if she wants a job again irrespective of when, whether they win or lose uh, i think the job is is hers to take appreciate that you know she will make a decision i mean i i really doubt that they're, they're going to lose out drastically and she sort of alluded to that then she obviously would assume that there would be a change in direction with Nepal New Zealand. And uh, and again, even for herself, if she ca- stays on in the job, she would want to see a slight change in direction. And so it should be because you don't want to just keep doing what you've mm. always done. Uh, she's been in top coaching positions for a number of years now, not just with the yeah. Silver Ferns as the national coach, but prior to that, she was involved in a new Ooh. entity uh, across the Tasman. She took that to the success, ultimate success, winning the Australian um, domestic premiership as well. So I guess she's inevitably, at the moment, experiencing a certain amount of mental fatigue, being under pressure and under stress Uh, in a job like the one she's got and the others that she's had. So probably a break from the top job would be a good thing for her, wouldn't it? And a good thing for the sport, maybe. 